Imagine having Thanksgiving with your family, going into the holidays, and getting an envelope from the tax assessor saying that your house is the Taj Mahal. <laughs> That is what's happening with a lot of homeowners. Now, listen, I do want to say this is something that I've been telling people about. I've been warning people about that the domino effect was going to happen with people's houses. Now, everyday people, we're not talking about individuals who bought at the height of the market. We're talking about individuals who are collateral damage to the run up of the housing market. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Make sure you check in the description and in the pin comment. I have a newsletter. Yes, a newsletter. And it will give you tremendous value. And it's free. How can you beat that? You can't. <laughs> Now, guys, listen, this is serious business. It really is. We're seeing individuals who are now getting the bill, the bill that I told everybody that it was going to come, that's going to show you that you have had your property reassessed. And I said a year ago that there is no way that you could have this huge run up and then not have the tax assessor come back. A greedy city tax assessor <laughs> is going to come in and go, I'm just going to leave the value there. That's not what they do. So I was saying that you're gonna see a domino effect and it's gonna start hurting our seniors guys. Seniors that are on a fixed income that they will be pushed out of their homes. And unfortunately, un really, unfortunately guys, that's what we're going to see at the beginning of this year. I had said that wait until it recycles and this was what's gonna happen. So let's jump into it. The system is broken. Huge assessment hikes in Tinley Park. Well, the assessment is These residents tell the I team their assessments doubled or tripled. Oh, okay. Lisa Markowitz no, is facing a jump of 210%. And I was hysterical. I was like, are you kidding me? Are we gonna lose our house? And he said, we might. And I said, what do we do? How do we stop this? We worked hard to get here. I'm leaving. That's sad, guys. It really is. Because in that scenario, this, this lady, she is saying, how did my house jump up 210%? That's ridiculous. So you get that bill and it comes into your mail and you open it up and it shows that you're gonna have to pay 210% more on your taxes. What? Is that fair? Is that right? What do you do in that situation? Well, unfortunately, the only thing that she can do is appeal. And as you will see throughout this video, appealing, appealing a tax assessor's value it's hell. You, nobody wants to go through it. Nobody wants to go through all the red tape that you're going to have to go through just to appeal and then more than likely lose. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. Because the tax assessor wants the money. They want their taxes. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Even though you may say, there's no way my house is worth this. Have you seen my house? Have you looked inside? Have you, have you really seen my house? You're telling me my house is worth 210% more? That's what's going on. And this is what I'm talking about, guys, when I say this is stuff that you have to be prepared for. This is the reason why I, I'm always telling you guys, make sure you have an emergency savings account. Make sure that you're watching videos like this so that you, you, you can be ready for things like this. But imagine, imagine this, guys. Imagine if you were an individual who overpaid for the house. You overpaid for the house. What is your tax assessor bill going to be this year? We're, we're, right now, we're talking about individuals who are just collateral damage in this. But what happens to individuals who overpaid for it? When their bill comes, it's going to be insane. I'm gone. I'm going to Indiana. Luis Markasovich's assessment went up 41%. Chuck Burks went up 225%. Guys, I, I gotta stop this early. 225%, let's look at this house. Look at this house, 225%. Look at this house. Does this house look like it should have gone up 225%? I know a lot of you guys are like, well, I mean, they could probably still afford it, right? But they can't. If you look at the individuals who are do, are giving this interview or are in this story, they're mostly seniors. Mostly seniors have fixed income. They, they're retired, they have social security, fixed income. So when their property value goes up, that means the taxes go up. So that means that their mortgage goes up. 
if they even have a mortgage, but it's still money that they don't have. So you're telling me property taxes are gonna go up from $6,000 to $14,000? Can they afford that? No, they can't. That's the point. They can't afford it. But here's another thing that a lot of people will not mention is your insurance is gonna go up too because the value of the property went up. That means that the value to rebuild the place if something was to happen to that property would go up too. So that means insurance is gonna go up and then you're also your property tax is gonna go up. Now, this is something, again, that I have been preaching, I've been yelling it from the mountaintops to get ready for things like this. That if you decide that you wanted to buy a house today, this is the predicament that you would be in. I've said it over and over and over. Go back and watch my videos. They did there was a big mistake and they must have been blind when they tried to assess <laughs> my house. <laughs> Dolores Morris doesn't think she can stay in her home after her assessment went up 45%. Not in my age. The assessment <laughs> is up 216% for Roy Barseth. Where am I gonna move? You know, I've been in this home for 28 years and yeah. What am I what am I gonna do? So do you hear what these these individuals in the story are saying? They have no other option other than to sell the home because they cannot afford the tax increase. So for them, the better decision is to sell and move. And you heard what a lot of the a, a lot of the individuals are saying. They're gonna move out of the state. They're gonna move to the neighboring states of Indiana or somewhere else where they believe the taxes aren't high. But here's the thing that I keep saying to everyone. Texas, you can't get away from the taxes. Florida, you can't get away from, everywhere basically, you can't get away from the taxes. Because there's been such a run up when it comes to the affordability of these homes that you're gonna get caught up, not just with the mortgage, you're gonna get caught up with the things that are in escrow, insurance and taxes. And I don't even wanna talk about if you need to fix something in your home. We're not talking about flooring. We're not talking about appliances. We're not talking about if you need a new roof. Those things have doubled to tripled in value and meaning in cost. So you're telling me that right now, right now, at this exact moment, when people are getting Envelopes in the mail saying, your houses went up in value of 210%, pay up. Pay me my money. <laughs> You're telling me today is a great day to buy a home? Make the math make sense to me. This area of Tinley Park and other suburbs are part of unincorporated rich township. That township and others are being reassessed by the Cook County Assessor's Office. We sent the homeowner's information to the assessor, Fritz Kagi. Regarding some of the homes, his spokesperson said the recent values sent out reflect the current market value of their home. Assessments are based on current market value, what they could sell their home for in today's market. Where do you come up with these numbers? But after the I-team's inquiries, the assessor's office said some homes in the area would be reassessed and that homes owned by Lisa Markowitz, Charles Burke, and Roy Barseth were over-assessed. After reviewing these properties, the assessor's office Office determined that the land rate was too high for these homes and should be reduced. The office will adjust the values of these properties and others in a two block area. I want to put up on the screen what the tax assessor said was the reason that they shot up a house 210% in assessed value. A recent value sent out reflect the current market value of their homes. So they're saying, hey, it's justified. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I really don't know. This is what the houses are worth, and that's what we sit down. But in the same breath, in the same breath, after they were pressed by a media company, what did they say then? They came back and said some area homes would be reassessed. Maybe we overassess these properties. You think? You think shooting up a 210 increase in value is overassessing? Maybe. Maybe just by a little bit. This is what I'm talking about, guys. When I say, when I say, get ready for January. Get ready for stories like this to be the norm for 2024. Get ready for this. We're gonna see fallout. We're gonna see individuals who are currently, who never bought a house, who've been living in their home for 10 years, decide I can't afford this home anymore. I have to sell it. Imagine if you were a new home buyer 
a new home buyer who bought at the top of the market, and then you have to deal with this, and then you lose your job. <laughs> That's right. Then you lose your job on top of that. You get laid off in the most difficult time that we're currently seeing in our economy in the last 10 years. It's not a surprise because we've been doing stories on this over and over and over, week in, week out. I've been giving you guys updates over and over, letting you know exactly what's happening. Like and subscribe. <laughs> There's no justification for uh, Fritz Kagey having ins uh, increased assessed values to those degrees. Larry Rogers sits on the Cook County Board of Review, which reviews appeals about high assessments. He says the board is seeing several potential over-assessments by the Cook County mm. Assessor's Office. It's unexplainable and it's unacceptable. Rogers showed us four other examples of assessment increases of 100 to 200 percent. Assessor Kagi's office said the homes brought to our attention are all in line with the market. The spokesperson said the assessment percentage increase doesn't reflect the exact percentage increase of the final property tax bill. The tax assessor, the city coming in and saying, hey, look, you guys are making a big deal out of this, okay? It's not really that big of a deal because the 210% increase or 216 or 300% increase, it doesn't reflect the final bill. So what they're saying is, is that, you know, let's say your bill was $2,000 a year annually in taxes, which is never gonna happen. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But let's just say it is. It's $2,000. They're saying that if we increased it by your value by 300%, that doesn't mean that your bill will be $6,000. That's what they're saying. They're saying that there's no way that that's gonna happen. That's not how our math works. But I can promise you this, the math will still increase. What do I mean by that? Your bill will increase. It may not be $6,000. It may be $5,000, $200. That's how it works. These guys are playing this, this lawyer technical word game, which is cool. That's what they're gonna do, especially under the microscope of a media story, right? I get it, whatever. But this does not stop the fact that these individuals who had their property taxes increased by, you know, 150%, but the value went up 210%, that does not stop the fact that they cannot afford it. This is my point. My point is, is you would think that these tax assessors would say, 210% is a little excessive. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe these individuals can't afford this. Here's the ridiculous thing about this. A lot of these guys can see that they have the, there's, a, there's some type of homestead on this, a senior homestead on there, and they don't care. They will increase 300% on your grandma or your grandpa. They don't care. How big of a problem is this? Uh, I think it's a massive problem. In all of the years that I've worked here at the Board of Review as a commissioner, uh, I've never seen increases of the type we've seen under Fritz Kagi's administration. And they are damaging uh, and destroying uh, the foundation of our neighborhoods. Markowitz says she still has concerns and wonders how much of a reduction she will really see on her assessment. Well, what are they gonna bring it down to? They're not gonna bring it down enough. That's the, really the answer. They're not gonna bring it down enough. You're gonna go through appeals, hell, and appeal, appeal, appeal. To, to, to show you the process of an appeal process, you're gonna appeal to the city. Then you're gonna appeal to a federal court. Then you're gonna appeal to the Supreme Court of that, of that area, of that state. Who wants to do all of that? Who wants to do all of that? Nobody, nobody. It would take you money and time and you probably will still lose. See, there's one thing that I don't play around with, guys. It's, it's one, it, when it comes to seniors, it's my, that could be my grandma. It could be my grandma. No way, no way. No way. This is the reason why I'm telling you guys, you have to pay attention to this, especially when it comes to your elders. These house prices, these property taxes, all of this stuff is gonna come and seniors won't know what to do. They won't know what to do. You just saw my last video where I showed you that Florida was, was doing some manipulative, slimy stuff where they're basically trying, trying to make seniors get stuck with a ridiculous bill, a 430% increase on their insurance. Who does that? So we have to make sure if you have someone out there who's a, a, just your grandma, grandpa, a senior, an elder, check their mail, 
Check, ask them, hey, is everything going okay with the, did you get any increases? Did you know, make sure you stay on top because it will be too much work. Especially a lot of these places are requiring that elders and seniors go online and, and opt out of it and do the appeal process online. And seniors don't know how to do this, guys. So as always, guys, I hope you got value out of this content. I really do. I hope you got value out of this. Make sure you check on your on your elders, guys, please, your, your and, and your loved ones to make sure they're not getting caught in these types of traps. As always, you won't get all of your value off of this one video. I need you to watch this video here. It will give you insight on what's happening in the housing market, financial news, get into your first rental property. And guys, I promise you, you will get tons of value from it. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.